Next up, we're going to cover the class lock feature of Oxy Ninja, and what that will do for you is effectively make sure that you don't accidentally make changes to core classes that you have applied to different elements. So let's take a look at this core button, for instance. And if you look over here, by default, of course, you have the ID of the element, and then you have the classes that actually give this button the styles that you're looking at. Now, of course, if you wanna make changes to one of these classes, you can certainly do so, such as changing the color, for instance, maybe you don't want it to be the blue. Let's say maybe you want it to be a different color entirely like that. And of course, anywhere that class exists, you'll notice that that color changes, so it affected our header button up there. But let's say you don't want to accidentally change a core class and affect potentially your entire site. What you can do is go ahead and use the class lock function. So if I click this, what's gonna happen is it won't actually let me select the core classes anymore. So now the only thing there is the ID of the element. This is good because what it's going to do is force you to either make the changes on the ID of the element, which is only going to apply to this particular element. As you can see, I changed this color to our global star icon color here. And because we added it to the ID, it didn't affect the header button this time. Now the other option is instead of making changes to the ID of an element, you can always add a new class. So let's call this like, you know, custom class or something like that. Even though we have class lock on, I still can select my custom class here and I can make it, you know, whatever color I want essentially. So that is another option for you. So effectively by default, what class lock is going to do is only affect the core classes and those are denoted by the C hyphen at the beginning. So of course, as you can see, any of the core classes will start with C hyphen. Now let's say you want the class lock to apply to every class, regardless of whether it's a core class or one that you add yourself. What you can do is go over to Manage, Settings, go to Oxy Ninja, and then you'll see ID slash class lock. Your two options here are what we just mentioned. So do you only want the class lock to apply to core, or do you want it to be every class on that element? If we go ahead and switch this to class, and we come back over here to our text link, you'll notice I still have my custom class applied here, which is giving us this green color, but if I select it, it won't let me do it. The only thing I'm able to edit is the ID of that element. So this is really good so you don't accidentally make changes to classes on your buttons and potentially make changes across your whole site. So this can definitely be a good way for you to keep your site organized and not make accidental changes like I've already said. Now let's say setting the class lock to be all of the classes on your button is a little bit too much. What you can do is go ahead and switch this back to core. And instead of calling your class custom class, let's say you want it to potentially lock it. So all you would need to do is just make your own class with the C hyphen. And then let's just call this one like my custom class or something like that. Now what's going to happen is because I added that C hyphen in front of that custom class I just created, the core class lock is essentially going to not let me edit that particular class. So if you want that flexibility to lock some classes but not others, that is certainly an option for you. Again, how I'm turning on and off that class lock for an individual element is just this button right here. So you can see that class lock is turning on and off, and that's what's preventing me from selecting these C hyphen classes.